sensin. Bir bu ton. Same hide from your will? <laughs> oh, my poor Gabriel. I've never met a man as unhappy with my will as you. But that's not the matter of this evening. My will shall remain unchanged. Very well. You seem a little out of character. How was your day? Nothing out of the ordinary. At the scene of the crime, we found a letter addressed to you. With me, I have pictures of the scene of the crime. Do you have any information? I'm sorry, I don't have any information on the matter. I'll take matters into my own hands. There seems to be a connection. But how? I must see Jekyll. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have other matters to attend to. Um, if I were calling, I no, will let you guys know. Thank you. Very well then. One more thing. It was high, was it not? 
That made you add those terms to your will? That he should inherit your fortune if you were to disappear? He means to murder. You've had quite the lucky escape. I've had much more than that. I've had a lesson. Oh God, what a lesson I've had. Check on the don't it today. Did you happen to see what the messenger looked like? No, sir. I don't know what messenger. No post on phone yet. Very well, then. Thank you. Hello. second. Well, my life has been pleasant. I'm so sorry to see you in a state, man. But it is odd. Our friend Jekyll is ill as well. Have you seen him recently? I wish to see or hear no more of him. Can anything be done? After all, we three are very old friends. You shall not live to make others. Nothing can be done. I wish you learned the rights and wrong of this. There's nothing <coughs> more I can tell you. <coughs> Here, read this after Jekyll's death. <coughs> I hope that answers all your questions. Paul, what brings you here? What is wrong, man? Is the doctor ill? Yes, sir. There's something very wrong. You have to come with me.
to find out the truth, to read the letters left behind, the remains of my fallen friends. Dear Edison, here are your final letter from Jekyll with written instructions for me to do a favor for him. He was desperately asking me to retrieve certain material from his laboratory. On reading Jekyll's letter, I was sure that he must be insane, but until that could be proven, I felt bound to do as he requested. I took a cab straight to his residence where Paul was waiting for me. There I found a box in the drawer of his desk and brought it to my home. Once in my office, I opened the box and examined its contents. All this made my curiosity much stronger. But as I grew older, I saw that I was living a double life. After years of study, an idea took hold of me. If my two sides could be completely separate, I would suffer no longer. Evil could go on its own, free from guilt of its high-minded twin, and good could walk its own upward path, no longer shamed by its evil side. It was the curse of mankind that these two were bound together. How then, to separate them? Let me say only that I made a drug that separated the two sides of my spirit. The second man within me is just as real as the Henry Jekyll. I began mixing the elixir together. I watched them bubble and smoke in the glass. I drank the potion. Those fracking pains followed immediately. I felt deadly nausea and horror of the spirit. Then at last, I came to myself as if coming out of a great sickness. I felt something strange. Something wonderfully new. I felt younger, lighter, and happier in body. But I was slowly losing hold of my better self. The man was trying to look calm, but I could see he was almost hysterical. He sprang forward to grab the box, turned to me with an awful smile, and lifted the lid off the box. He asked for a drinking glass. I was almost too frightened to move, but I brought him what he asked. Glass in my hand. This girl say I have too much of a grip on you. No. I'll, I'll stay. <laughs> Congratulations, Landon. You've always had a far too narrow view of medicine. You always laughed at my ideas. Now you may see and believe. <laughs> There before my eyes, pale and weak, like a man back from the grave, was Henry Jekyll. What Henry Jekyll told me in the next hour, I cannot bear to write. But I saw what I saw, and I heard what I heard. It made my very soul sick. But I will say one thing, Utterson. The creature that came to my house that night was Hyde. The man hunted in every corner of the land for the murder of Carew. Yours truly, Hasty Lanyon. The wild excitement I looked for as Edward Hyde was soon becoming too much to handle. Henry Jekyll soon became horrified at the behavior of Edward Hyde. But it was Hyde, after all, and Hyde alone, who was guilty for the death of Sir Danvers Carew. I could not sleep. I was eaten up by the fever and weak both in body and mind. At times, when I slept, the drug wore off. I slipped easily into the body of Hyde. Jekyll became sicker as Hyde grew stronger. I know how much he fears my power to cut him off by suicide. But I sometimes even find it in my heart to pity him. The salt I needed to make the drug is nearly gone. In order to finish this writing, I have now taken the last of the drug. I must hurry, for if Hyde takes over while I am writing, he will surely tear this letter to pieces. Only God knows what will happen to Hyde. This is the true hour of death. Here then, I lay down my pen and seal up this confession, for this is the last time you'll hear of Dr. Henry Jekyll.
Good job, Jess. You're on the shot. Action! <sighs> Guys are assholes. <laughs> Get back over there! <laughs> Get back over Wait, there! <laughs> Shot. <laughs> and action. So is there anything I can help you, John Rimmer? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bless me, Paul. What brings you here? What is wrong, man? Is the doctor ill? Yes, sir. There's something very wrong. You have to come with me. Action. Sorry, I'll do that again. What's going on? Jack is not answering the door. Calm down, can any of you tell me what's going on? Master's locked himself away in the room and you won't see anyone. Master said that Hyde was able to come and go as he pleases. If anything happens to the Master, Dr. Hyde. Damn it! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Action! Oh, sh- Action!
Oh wow, that's great. Thank <laughs> you.